I was always very interested in biology, and I read an article in Time magazine about Earl Guthrie, who at that time was in his 30s. Uh, you know, his father had Huntington's disease. Mm -hmm. It's a dominant disease. He didn't know if he was going to have it or not. But he did know that if he had it, each of his children would have a 50-50 chance of having it. And he decided to go ahead and have three children anyway before he knew. And I thought that was fascinating, the, the thinking behind that. And it just got me interested in genetics. By the time I graduated from law school, I had made the transition from a geneticist who was interested in law to a lawyer who was interested in genetics. Well, I never intended to leave genetics. I was a laboratory person, uh, and I did some counseling, and I loved it. But I wanted some information. I wanted to learn about the ethical and legal issues. Uh, my area was prenatal diagnosis. There were lots of ethical and potentially legal questions. So I just wanted some background. And so I started law school with the idea of just learning. And eventually, little by little, actually, I really loved what I was learning. And all of a sudden, I just was moving in that direction instead of the other. Unlike uh, many areas of medicine, geneticists have an opportunity to look ahead and to, to help not just the patient. And, and, and that's a very critical point. Geneticists don't just treat a patient. We treat families because there's no way of, of extricating the familial ties. But they can help the families look ahead and plan ahead. You can never be bored as a geneticist. There is always something happening. No matter which branch of genetics you decide to go into, it's, it's a moving train. There is constantly something happening. And you can choose you know, which part of that you want to be part of. Whatever specialty you're looking at, there's a very strong genetic component to it. So I, I see geneticists as really being uh, at the center of where all the branches of medicine uh, are going. That used to be a criticism of geneticists that we could uh, predict and diagnose, but we couldn't Cure. And that's starting to change. So I think prediction um, is much more valuable and satisfying when you can also do something about it. It's exciting. It's changing so rapidly. To say it's by leaps and bounds is really an understatement. It, it's overnight the, the field uh, changes. I'm very excited, but I'm very nervous. Uh, there are so many issues that we're dealing with, we're going to have to deal with. Uh, a lot of legal issues, a lot of ethical issues. Uh, it's very exciting, but you know, it, I, I temper that excitement with some concern. I taught genetics in the law for several years, and there has not been one class, one semester, that I didn't learn something from those kids who are looking at the same old information in a new way. I think it's a new generation looking at information technology. They're probably not as nervous about it as I am because they've grown up with it. Um, you know, it's just, it's part of what they do. So I think they'll bring a whole new perspective to it and uh, think about things in a, in a different way than we're used to thinking about them. And that's very important, because we get very set in our ways. Uh, we may be very good scientists and be moving along with the times in the science, but you know the world is changing around the science also. So I think they'll be very helpful. The college is one of several plaintiffs in a lawsuit right now challenging the patentability of human genes. When we talked originally about becoming part of this lawsuit, I was not very much in favor of it. Not because I didn't think that it was an important issue and that the college was on the right side of it, 
but because I didn't think in this legal climate the courts would buy it. And I was very surprised because the district court that looked at the case agreed that uh, human genes are not patentable subject matter. And it proved to me that you can take an issue that, that looks so obviously against the mainstream and if you present it in the right way, you know, you can convince reasonable people that you're on the right side of things. So in terms of putting together law and genetics, I think that was probably one of the best moments.